assembled here to discuss about uh, the case of uh, Mr. Ramulu, 61 year old gentleman who presented to a hospital with a history of abdominal swelling and uh, pain and uh, fever as well as bleeding. He was diagnosed to have a swelling arising from the pancreas from a premier institution in the city in Hyderabad. He went around the city for nearly 10 years with the diagnosis and ultimately landed up in our institution where we evaluated him with a CT scan, ultrasound and ERCP where we made the correct diagnosis that it was not a pancreatic pseudocyst but it was actually a sort of a tumour which was arising from the upper part of the small intestine. Once we made the diagnosis we decided to explain to the patient that his earlier diagnosis was not correct and this is probably the correct diagnosis and after explaining to him about the magnitude of the surgery is to pet the surgery kawala and chappen tarvata operation ke tisque nano. At that time of surgery we found that it was a tumor which was very big it was around 25 to 20 centimeters in size and it was attached to the small intestine and to the surrounding structures. The surgery was lasted for at least five hours. It involved a certain degree of blood loss also because the tumor was actually supplied by a lot of blood vessels from the supplied from blood vessels which are arising from the aorta and the IVC, which are the two main blood vessels in the body. Luckily and uh, thanks to the care which we had taken, the patient had a very successful outcome. He did not even have even a single complication. He didn't even have wound infection and he was discharged on the 12th day. Uh, the patient is now on follow-up and he's doing very well as you can see uh, and so we are very happy. After surgery he stayed in the hospital for around 10 to 12 days and at the end of it she was discharged and now he's not on any medicines. Continental Hospital is a 750 bedded tertiary care facility in Hyderabad which was started only three years back. We celebrated our anniversary only three years back and it has got almost all the facilities which you would expect from an institution of this magnitude. We have got one of the best CT scan facilities, we have got uh, dedicated uh, doctors, we have got uh, facilities for ERCP, endoscopic ultrasound and uh, we have got uh, some of the best machines for radiotherapy as well which is probably on par with that which is seen elsewhere in the world and uh, not to mention the fact that this is a JCI accredited facility which JCI accreditation is very difficult to get because they perform a lot of checks and this is one of the institutions which got a JCI accreditation within one to one and a half years of starting.